I have collected 10 creative ideas for you to fill your sketchbook and improve your art skills. If you are searching for inspiration, you may find this video helpful. Hi, I'm Felicia and welcome to my art channel. In this video I will show you some pages in my sketchbook where I tried out different creative ideas. When I start a sketchbook I like to set some goals for it. What do I want to use it for? What worked best for me is to set goals that take away the pressure to be perfect. I like to write it on the first page. When I allow myself to experience and make a lot of mistakes, I actually use the sketchbook very often. Anytime I wanted the sketchbook to be super pretty, I didn't use it. So here's the first idea. Number one, let yourself be inspired by complementary colors. I love complementary colors and how they make everything interesting. I choose to do a simple portrait studies here, but the color combination makes it look more dynamic. I think you can choose any topic that you like and try out these color combinations. To find the right ones, take a color wheel and look at the opposite colors. Number two, play around with random splashes of paint, coffee or wine. You never know which association you will have when you see the random paint splatters on your paper. Be careful not to make a huge mess around you. You can also draw anything on top of it with ink for example. I think that's a really fun and cool technique. Or you can create unique characters out of the shapes. Number 3. Follow a YouTube tutorial. If you feel stuck or have an art block, this is always a good method for me to get started again. When I don't have enough trust in my skills, which happens sometimes, it gives me a sense of safety to follow instructions while I paint. And I can regain confidence very fast. I put the link for the tutorial of this painting in the description. Number 4. Paint intuitively. Let your imagination flow and pick colors that you love or even doodle around with any material that you like. You might be surprised what you can draw or paint just from imagination. I find intuitive painting very relaxing and healing and it's especially helpful when you're having a bad day. I know it can be very hard to let go of perfectionism, but it can be really worth it. Number 5. Make a collage. Okay, that's not painting or drawing, but it can be very helpful to boost your creativity or to get ideas for a painting that you want to do. I made a collage out of green artworks that I love to get inspired for my next painting. It's a nice exercise if you want to do something creative but you don't have energy to paint or draw. Sometimes my energy for painting is so low, but when I do other creative things instead my creativity and motivation can come back very fast. Number 6. Draw scenes or characters from your favorite movie or series. It's always so nice to draw characters that you love. And maybe you will get out of your comfort zone because you're choosing a very unique scene. I was very inspired by the movie Whisper of the Heart. I always try to capture the overall mood in the scenes or the feeling I had while watching the movie. Number 7. Copy your favorite artists. It's a good practice to learn techniques and to develop your own style by adapting things you love from different artists. And don't be shy to copy the old masters, you will learn a lot. This is probably the biggest project I did in a sketchbook. It took me a few days to complete this study, but now I'm always proud when I see it. Number 8. Dedicate a page to your comfort zone. Do you have a favorite thing to draw? Then fill the whole page with it. Sometimes you need that comfort and confident boost that you feel when you draw something that you can do very well. Painting is so much fun when everything works out as you want it and chances are high that it will turn out as you want when it's a subject that you know you can do. Number 9. Draw something you want to master over and over again. 
You can dedicate a page to something you always struggle with. If you dedicate a few hours to a subject that is hard for you, it will be much easier to apply the knowledge in your next painting instead of struggling again. Let's say it's hands or body anatomy. I always practice those to make my life easier when I want to draw characters. It can be beneficial to pick a subject that you don't paint often. This way you can challenge yourself to change your perspective and try out new things. Number 10. Try therapeutic art. In the therapeutic art, the focus is on the feeling and the emotion while creating a painting, not on skills or aesthetic. You can try to answer a question about yourself with a sketchbook page. Here are some questions you could answer in your painting. Don't think too much about the answers to these questions. Just start with some colors or doodling and it will come out automatically. I answered one of those questions on this page. I wanted to paint with gouache, but then I quickly decided to use an ink pen instead. It was honestly so relaxing. And it's a good practice for your imagination, which is an essential skill for an artist. I hope I could give you some inspiration to fill your sketchbook. If you use one of these tips and you want to share it with me, I'd be so happy to see them. Just send me a message on Instagram if you like. It always makes my day if I was able to inspire someone to create art. And I love meeting new people and other artists. If you like my videos, subscribe to my channel and leave a comment if you like. Maybe you want to take a look at my website or my Etsy shop, where I have prints or original paintings. See you soon!